Hello, everybody. Hi. Can everyone see and hear me okay? Um, if you can see and hear me, please type in the chat. Hi, everybody. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you're listening to today. Um, it sounds like everybody can see and hear me okay. That's great. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Sunday Cambly Live. How is everybody today? Um, please type in the chat how you're doing today and where you're from. Uh, my name is Tudor Nicole and I'm from the United States and I am very good today. A little, a little sleepy, but very good. All right, hello everybody. Hi from Nigeria, Brazil, South Africa. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi from Sri Lanka, from Romania. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, hi from Japan. Sao Paulo, hi. Good morning. Um, again, my name is Tudor Nicole and I'm from the United States. Um, and this is going to be a two-part series. So today is part one, um, and it's all about animals. We're covering everything about animals. Today we are doing part one, and next Sunday it's going to be part two. So we have a lot to cover. So I'm very excited to talk a little bit about animals with you guys today. All right, hi from Guatemala in Bangladesh. Hi from Thailand. Good evening. Okay. Is everybody ready to begin? Hi from Nigeria. All right, let's get started. Um, again, my name is Tudor Nicole. I'm a tutor on Cambly an English learning platform where you can learn English with native English speakers. Um, yeah, and our new topic today is going to be all about animals, um, anywhere from how to describe animals um, to the scientific terms um, for animals. Um, and I know it sounds like a kindergarten topic, um, but the vocab is actually very different and really interesting. And preparing this lesson, I learned some new stuff about animals too, as a native English speaker. So um, we're gonna get started with some very basic stuff. And it's just gonna be the vocab for animals and the noises that they make. While we're going over this, um, I'll tell you what the animal is and what noise it makes. And if you have, if animals say something, a uh, different noise in your country, um, I'd be curious to see in the chat uh, what noise they make in your country. So like for cow, <clears throat> we say moo, and it might be different. So this is cow and we say moo. Duck. Duck says quack, quack, and they spell it like this, quack. For pig, we say oink, 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 oink. Dog, we say rough, 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 rough. <laughs> Chicken. We say buck, 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 buck. <laughs> I know, it's so silly. For cat, we say meow, 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 meow. Horse, they go nay, nay. 
like this. Nay. Sheep. A hen. Hen. Goat. Goat. This is a rabbit. Rabbit. And a donkey. Donkey. Okay, so those are all farm animals. Uh, we call these farm animals because they live on a farm. Okay. Our next one is going to be sea creatures or sea animals. And we'll just go over them real quick. This is a squid. Squid has the black ink, right? I think. <laughs> um, sea turtle. Jellyfish. Dolphin. Puffer fish. This is a crab. This is a clownfish. If you've ever seen Finding Nemo, the movie, um, Nemo is a clownfish. Starfish. Shark. Seahorse. Octopus. Whale. <laughs> Leopard. Antelope. Monkey. Okay, we have a few more. Um, this is called a snake. And to practice, you guys can repeat what I say to practice. This is a giraffe, giraffe, turtle, zebra, lion, elephant, tiger, Crocodile. Do you have a crocodile in your country? Do you have crocodiles in your country? And last one is bear. We have a lot of bears in my country, in the United States. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so now that we know all of the vocab, um, we're going to learn some more stuff, and I have some questions for you. Um, when I ask you questions, uh, please just type in the chat your answers. Um, so again, this is part one of animals. And next week, I'm leading the session on part two for animals. My first question, um, please type in the chat and name some of your favorite animals. Um, so for example, my favorite animal is a turtle. What's your favorite animal? And you might have many favorite animals. So maybe my favorite animals are... Ooh, a seagull. Interesting. Deer. Panda. Monkeys. Eagles. Cheetahs. Why is that your favorite animal? Maybe I like monkeys because they're cute. Alpaca, that's a cool animal. My favorite animals are birds. Yeah, birds are really cool. Um, so some things we're gonna learn today. What are they like? So we'll learn how to describe an animal. Um, what family do they belong to? What do they eat? And what noises do they make? 
Okay, so we learned earlier what kind of noises they make in English. Um, do you know what your favorite animal sounds like? Okay, um, let's talk about all types of animals that you know. Um, so for example, a type of an animal could be a mammal. And a mammal, um, we'll get into that later, but what types of animals do you know? Um, it could be birds, amphibians. You can type in the chat, what types of animals do you already know? Reptiles, yeah, reptiles. Mammals, really good. Sea creatures. So the first type that we're gonna learn about today, they're called amphibians. Um, these are typically cold-blooded. That means they have cold blood. Um, they absorb water instead of drinking water. They breathe through their skin and most of them lay eggs. So some examples of amphibians would be frogs and toads. Okay. Another type of animal would be birds. You can identify birds because they typically have beaks that look like this that they use to catch or eat things. Um, they lay eggs and they have feathers. Something interesting about birds is they make nests. You know, the little nests like this and trees. I think that's really cool. So some birds would be chickens, owls, or parrots. Parrots are really cool and like very beautiful. They have a lot of colors. Our next type of animal is fish. Fish have fins, they live underwater, and they are also cold-blooded. Some examples of fish could be eels, stingrays or rays, and sharks. Okay, our next one, which is what we are, is a mammal. Can you guys say mammal, mammals? It's a fun word. Um, most mammals have hair. They're warm-blooded, and um, young mammals get nourishment from milk, typically from their mom. Um, some examples of mammals would be elephants, hamsters, humans, um, rabbits, and whales. They do not lay eggs, right? Okay, our next type of animal is a reptile. Reptiles are cold-blooded. Uh, they lay eggs, they breathe with their lungs, and they're typically covered in scales. So like a snake has scales. Some examples of these are sea turtles, geckos, snakes, and sea turtles. This one's interesting. It is called invertebrates. Um, they have really soft bodies and most of them can move. Um, an example of an invertebrate would be clams, jellyfish, leeches, and spiders. Spiders, does anybody know? Um, what do spiders make? What is it called? Where do they live? Spiders live in a blank. They make this with their silk, yeah, a cobweb or a web. Nice job. Okay, I have some questions, just some conversation. You can type your answers in the chat. Have you ever been to the zoo? Have you ever been to the zoo? If you've been to the zoo, <clears throat> What is your favorite animal at the zoo? My favorite animal at the zoo is a monkey. Yeah, I really like monkeys and chimpanzees. What's your favorite animal at the zoo?
awesome. Yeah, I love pandas. A horse, okay. If you were at the zoo, what type of animals could you find at the reptile house? So at the zoo, they have something called a reptile house, which is a family of animals that are all the same or similar. Um, which animals could you find at the reptile house? You could find a crocodile, iguana. Yes. Pythons. Alligators. Cobras, Komodo dragons, yeah, very good. If you were to go to the bird house, what types of birds could you see at the zoo? Parrots, hawk, a bald eagle, a flamingo, an eagle. Yeah, these are all types of birds you could see. Good job. If you were to go to the zoo, what type of fish might you find? What type of fish might you find? <laughs> yeah, okay, so dolphins, starfish, pufferfish, a seal, troutfish, shark. Yeah, these are all sea creatures, sea animals. Goldfish, crabs. If you were to go to the zoo, last question of this, what type of mammals might you find? Remember, uh, an example of a mammal is a human. They do not lay eggs. They typically have hair. Yes, you would find a gorilla, elephant, lion. These are all mammals. Good job. A bear, a horse, dogs, sloths. Awesome. Tigers. All right. Um, interesting question because all of our answers might be a little different. Um, what animals are most popular in your country? So typically a lot of countries might be known for having a type of animal. For example, in the United States, we have a lot of deer. We have a lot of deer and a lot of pets as dogs and cats. Um, in your country, what animal is most popular? Okay, so elephants, horses, monkeys. And what country are you from? So maybe um, in the United States, a popular animal is a deer. Um, Maybe in Australia, a popular animal is a kangaroo. Oh, a leopard is the largest predator in Sri Lanka. That's interesting. Pandas in Japan. Elephant in Thailand. Oh, in Kenya, there's lions. In Nigeria, horses and monkeys. Saltwater crocodiles, that's scary. <laughs> Anything else? All right. That was really interesting to see. Thank you for sharing. Okay, we're gonna play a game. Um, I'm gonna describe an animal and you have to guess that animal. Um, so for example, if I say like, this animal hops and has a pouch. 
um, you would say kangaroo. Okay, so let's guess that animal. This is a mammal. It has spots, it eats grass, and it makes milk. This is an easy one. What type of animal is this? Cow. Very good. Yes, it's a cow. Next one. This animal has scales. It has a long tongue. Um, it hisses, and sometimes it can be dangerous. What is this animal? Yeah, it's a snake. Good job. Next one. This animal loves to eat bananas. It climbs trees. It has a long tail and it lives in the jungle. What animal is this? Easy peasy. Yes, it's a monkey. Good job. Okay, this is a sea creature. Um, it lives in the water, in salt water. It makes ink, and it has tentacles. What animal is this? I have squid. Um, octopus could also work. Yes, octopus or squid. Good. This one is a mammal. Um, it's raised for milk, meat, and wool, and it lives on a farm. So this animal is very hairy, and they use its hair to make things. Yes, this is a sheep. Good job. This one is a long neck. Um, it has spots, and it's the tallest mammal in the world. What mammal is this? They're very common at the zoo. Yes, it is a giraffe. I love giraffes. Good. We have two more. Um, this is a sea creature. It lives in the ocean. It's cold-blooded. It does not have bones. Um, it's very big, and it can also be dangerous. Just depends on the type of this animal. So some of us are saying whale, some of us are saying jellyfish. Um, I feel like this could definitely work, but I said shark for this one. That's what I was thinking. Okay, this one should be easy. Um, this is, I believe, a mammal. Um, it lives in the desert. It has humps. It's the size of a horse, and it stores water. Easy one, yeah. That is a camel. A camel. Last one. This is a farm animal. It lays eggs. It lives on a farm. And the male version of this animal is called a rooster. And the noise it makes is like cock a doo doo doo. <laughs> yeah, this is a chicken. Good job. That was fun. Okay, we're going to go on to learn some more things. Uh, we're going to learn description words, um, some words that we can describe animals. Okay, so when someone asks like, oh, what is a chicken like? You could say a chicken has feathers and a beak. Maybe it's fast. Um, so here are just some words that adjectives that I thought could be good to describe animals. Adorable, um, typically like baby animals, you could say are adorable, cute, furry, loud, 
Lions, when they roar, are very loud, fierce, and fast. Carnivorous, lazy. Oh, carnivorous is like um, when they eat meat. Um, lazy, energetic, omnivorous, and poisonous. Okay, so for example, there are some poisonous snakes. Um, lazy sloths are very lazy and slow. They sleep a lot. So we're going to just work on um, describing animals. Could you describe a deer? So for example, you could say a deer is a mammal. It has four legs. It is fast. Okay, so describe a deer. Type in the chat, how would you describe a deer? Okay, maybe a deer is energetic. It has a lot of energy. That's good. It's fast, it's adorable, yes. That's, that's true. Next one, let's describe a lion. Describe a lion. A lion is blank. You could say a lion is um, furious. A lion is loud, fast. A lion is a carnivore. A lion is ferocious, fierce. Nice. Good. Let's describe a penguin. For a penguin, you could describe the colors of a penguin, maybe where they live. A penguin is black and white. They live in cold weather. A penguin is very cute. A penguin is a type of bird. Oh, that's a good description. A flightless bird with flippers instead of wings. Nice. I like that. Penguins live in Antarctica. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> Let's describe a skunk. If you don't know what a skunk is, a skunk is black and white, and sometimes they raise their tail and let out like a really stinky smell. Do you have skunks in your country? If so, describe a skunk. Maybe you could say a skunk is black and white. It's very stinky. Okay, so that is a skunk. Let's describe, this is our last one. Let's describe a cat. A cat. What sound does a cat make? Yeah, cats are adorable. Yeah, they meow. M-E-O-W, meow. A cat is a lazy pet. That's true. <laughs> Good job. Okay. We're gonna learn a few more vocab words. Carnivore, a carnivore is a word to describe animals that eat other animals. And that's all they do, is they eat other animals and meat. So like a lion is a carnivore, a tiger I think is a carnivore. What else is a carnivore? 
Next one is an omnivore. Most humans are omnivores. Um, this is an animal that eat both plants and animals. Okay, so they eat plants and other animals. And last but not least, we have an herbivore. An herbivore, herbivore is an animal that um, eats plants. They only eat plants. Yeah, and a lot of humans could also be herbivores. If you're vegetarian, you could also describe yourself as an herbivore. Okay, so what animal is an herbivore? Dinosaurs? A panda is an herbivore? Yeah. All of those terms, pure care, thank you, um, they're like a balance to um, biodiversity in the world. That's true. Good. Um, can you name some examples of a carnivore? Name some animals that are carnivores. A tiger. Great white shark, crocodile, or a bald eagle. These are all carnivores. They only eat meat and other animals. Next one, name some examples, some animals that are omnivores. Remember omnivores, they eat plants and other animals. Some omnivores, bears, monkeys, turtles, those are all omnivores. And last but not least, can you name some examples of an herbivore? Remember an herbivore, think about it. An herb like oregano, cilantro, they only eat herbs. Herbivore, herbivore. Some examples of an herbivore would be a parrot, a hippo, a giraffe, a kangaroo, and an ele elephant. Something I think is interesting about this is herbivores only eat plants, yet there's some very big animals that only eat plants. Like a hippo or an elephant, they're so big. How do they weigh so much if they only eat plants? I think it's so crazy and so cool. All right, good job, everybody. Um, we are going to be ending our session today with some interesting animal facts. So um, I'm going to share some fun facts about animals. Um, if you could do me a favor, if you have any interesting animal facts, just type them in the chat. Okay, so again, we're going to share some interesting animal facts. Sound good? Okay, my first fact. Hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards. If you don't know what a hummingbird is, it's really, really tiny, and they flap their wings really, really fast. And they have the really long, pointy beaks. That's a hummingbird. And they call it a hummingbird because it has a sound like hum, like you're humming. Okay, next one. Um, crocodiles can't stick their tongue out. I can't do that. <laughs> Kelly Bond said, a newborn Chinese water deer is so small, it can be held in the palm of a hand. Interesting. Hmm. Another fun fact is that starfish don't have a brain. They don't have a brain. Gorillas can catch human colds and other illnesses. Okay. Interesting. 
So slugs have four noses. Um, so slugs, um, they're the really slimy animals that go like this. <laughs> they have four noses. Isn't that crazy? Joy says that pigs cannot look backwards. Um, octopus has three hearts. Fleas can jump 350 times its body length. Wow. A lion usually makes no more than 20 kills in a year. Interesting. Okay. I thought this one was really cool. It says only female mosquitoes bite. A mosquito is like an insect that flies and they'll like bite you and then you get the red dot. Um, only the female mosquitoes bite. I had no idea. Yeah. Another interesting fact, um, horses and cows can sleep when they're standing up. So they don't have to lay down to sleep. They can sleep standing up. Another interesting fact, cows have four stomachs. Cows have four stomachs. That's a lot of stomachs. Octopuses, they have nine brains. Nine brains. That's pretty crazy. Fishes can sleep while they open their eyes. That's kind of scary. <laughs> um, you can hear a lion's roar. So they're like, roar, the lion's roar, from three miles away. So you could be three miles away and you can hear a lion's roar from three miles away. Yeah. Butterflies taste with their feet. So they can taste things like we do with our tongues. Butterflies taste things with their feet. It's pretty cool. And the last fun fact that I have is that a snail can sleep for three years, which is crazy. So like bears, we call this term when they sleep for a long time, um, hibernate, they hibernate. Snails can hibernate, they can sleep for three years. That sounds like a really nice nap. <laughs> so some more fun facts again, you can type in the chat if you have any fun animal facts. Um, and I'll read some out loud. It looks like oysters make pearls with the same stuff, substance that forms their shells. Nice. Yeah, hibernate. Hibernate. Tortoises have a long life. No, yeah, that's true. They live a very long time. Does anyone know what animal lives the longest? Huh. Ostriches can run faster than horses. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, you guys can keep typing your uh, fun facts in the chat, and I might read a few at the end. Uh, but thank you so much for joining the live session today. Again, today was just part one, and we're going to have part two next week, and I will be teaching that class as well. Um, if you have any questions, please just type them in the chat. I'd be happy to answer them. And if you join the live session late, don't worry because you can stop here when this is over. Come back to our YouTube channel and you can watch the live session from the very beginning. What else? Oh, if you don't know what Cambly is, it's an online English learning platform where you can be um, paired with a native English speaker to help better your English. Um, I'm a tutor on Cambly and you can book reservations below using the link. And lastly, I do have a promotion code, a discount for you. Um, the promotion code is go live, and this can get you up to 36% off of your yearly subscription.
Okay, so again, if you want up to 36% off of your yearly subscription, just type go live. Yeah, you can also click the link below to get that discount. Um, I'll read just a few more fun facts before I go, just because these are so interesting to me. Octopuses can change colors to communicate with others. Lobsters can um, basically regrow their limbs and claws. I think the same with lizards and their tails. Crabs walk sideways because they move faster that way. That's cool. Oh wow, so sponges are the longest living animal? That's a long time. <laughs> Yes, thank you guys so much for joining the live session today. I had so much fun. Again, join me next week. We're going to be talking even more about animals um, and learning more vocab about the female and male version of animals, how to call baby animals, and stuff like that. So thank you so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye, everybody. See you next week. Bye.